Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Recha Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and who have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutation unto all you Akim, your brothers preaching this word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. Shalom. Uh, so, be, so to begin, or well, the topic of this one, um, just hitting on the brotherhood, the Akim, the true family, uh, inspired, you know, just off a, a few conversations I was having with the brothers um, and just meditating on, you know, this is the true family. We're all we got, right? We're all we got, and and the rest of the world can't compare. <laughs> Even your your so called friends you grew up with, uh, hell, family members you might have. It doesn't compare. It doesn't match up to the love of the brothers, man, of the true family. Um, but I have this word cherish here in the etymology online. Uh, so it says cherish, right? And point being, now I was thinking of a hey, cherish the brothers, cherish the Akim. Cherish, verb, early 14th century, cherishing. It says hold is dear, treat with tenderness and affection to hold dear. Uh, also goes into dear, costly, beloved. Um, also meaning indulge and encourage in the mind. And think when we get uh, with one another, we, um, you know, what I'm saying just converse through the spirit. It's always encouraging where right? we keep each other going. Iron sharper with iron. And, uh, you know, be thankful that the Lord has has blessed you to be around these men. And, um, you know, continue <laughs> to love the brotherhood. And, um. You know, bond with one another while we still have time. You know, because we're coming into some times where, a, uh, um, you know, we might not, Lord forbid, but we might not be with each other. We we might we might be alone. You know, never alone. You know, we still have the Lord, of course. But uh, who's to say, you know, you're gonna see another face um, for a long period of time? You, we don't know. Right, we know in part, we prophesy in part, but as the scriptures say, uh, actually, let me grab that in Second Ezra. It said, a, a man shall desire to see. Uh... Yep, Second Ezra 16 and 27, through the Spirit, it says, So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. But uh, at the end of the day, man, we know, you know, we have the faith that uh, we're going to be protected. And we're going to be satisfied, all right, Lord willing, we endure until the end. But um, to begin, I wanted to grab here Philippians 2 and verse 1. And then uh, we'll just go from there, all right, through the Spirit. It says, Philippians 2 and 1, If there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind, you know. And that's a very important thing that we, um, you know, we speak the same doctrine, we'll be of the same mind, all right? We have this one faith, one doctrine, right? One accord, one mind, we're, we're on the same wavelength, so to speak. But um, like it says, though, in the NLT, Philippians 2 and 2, that make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. And not to say that, you know, brothers have their own um, uh, niches, so to speak, or if that's the word I'm looking for, or different, um, you know, attributes and also different opinions on certain matters, right? No spirit is the same. However, hey, we're on the same mission, right? And that's salvation, kingdom of heaven. You know, we're looking, we're, we're, we're laboring for that same penny. And we're, we're to encourage one another, to, to edify one another with these words and to build each other up. 
exhort, edify, you know, and also love, care for one another, right? Um, you know, check check in on brothers, things of this nature, help out when brothers are in need, things of this sort. That's showing love, man. All right, and the Lord is pleased with that when we do these things. Um, you know, again, but also <laughs> speaking the same doctrines, being of one accord, and um, you know, preaching and teaching the correct gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because right, we know there's a lot of false prophets out in this world today. Going back to Philippians 2 and verse 3, it says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem each other better than themselves. So stand humble and um, putting brothers uh, first. Right? It says, don't be in the NOT. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. And it's easier said than done being in this flesh. All right? It's something I continually have to work on. Not trying to impress others, just keeping it simple, being humble, um, rebuking that pride, putting off that pride from day to day, asking the Lord to help you with it, and thinking of others as better than yourselves. All right? Treating others, as they have a saying in the world, treat others as you would want to be treated. Love one another, you know, with, with sincerity in your heart. Uh, verse 4, this is really the point I wanted to grab. Philippians 2 and 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right, so... If this is the same, like I said in the NLT, you must have the same attitude that Yahweh Shai Mashiach had. If he was of this mindset, we have to be just like him, you know? Hey Amen. He was the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The pioneer, so to speak. He was the, uh, the <laughs> for lack of better words, the blueprint to follow. He was the example. So like he was the example to follow, man. And we're supposed to be a blameless, you know, shaped and molded in his image. So we have to try, you know, strive for perfection. Of course, you know, we're not going to be perfect into the kingdom of heaven, but it's a rehearsal. And, uh, you know, it's a good attribute to have. All right, looking out for uh, not only yourself, but look out for the, for your, the interests of others. All right. Being that servant. We all have to serve, right? And just serving the Akim. Hey, the servant is not greater than his master. Did not, did not our Lord Yahweh uh, uh, wash the feet? Okay. So, <laughs> hey man, just just being uh, being that brother, being that brother for brothers. That's the whole point. But um, also too, another point I wanted to make was uh, you know, we're all we got. You know, as, as I was talking to a beloved brother, Kazak, we're all we got at the end of the day when you really think about it. You know, these these vain talks uh, with people in the world and, you know, uh, empty love, empty remarks, things of this nature it doesn't really hold any weight. OK, but we know it is true. It's true love is itself sincerity when it comes to the brothers, man, where we. We say something to each other. We actually mean it. And there's actually action behind what we say, you know, to the best of our ability, because we all fall short at the end of the day, day to day. But, um, you know, we strive to, to, to uphold what we say, all right, to one another, to, to how we treat each other, you know, being respectful, things of this nature, man. And, um, you know, we're really the ones... We could trust. Can't trust too many people in this world, man. If any. All right? Because we're coming into some times to where they, uh, they'll put you on a chopping block if it, if it means their life or yours. All right? Scriptures go into, you know what I'm saying, your own family betraying, betraying you. Right? And that goes to show you that, uh, you know, this is a true family. And this is uh, Mark. 3 and verse 33 it says and he answered them saying 
Actually, I started uh, verse 32. Mark 3 and 32. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. All right, so um, I'm going to read in NLT as well. It says, There was a crowd sitting around your house shy, and someone said, Your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. Mark 3 and 33, back in the KJV, it says, And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother? Or my brethren. And he looked around about on them which sat about him and said, Behold, my, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, or Salakia, the will of the heavenly father, the most high, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. So that goes to show you who the true family is, and that's that's the ones doing the most high's will, right? Who are taking heed to the word and abiding by it. Are right, those um, that are in the same fight as you? That's the that's the true family. You know, it's one thing to be related <laughs> uh, by flesh or in blood, but it's another thing to to be kin via the spirit. You know, if you could receive, if you could receive, if you could receive it. Um, you know, not to say that you know we don't love our mother, our brethren, our sisters, if you have them. No, but it's it's a it's a matter of perspective. It's it's um you know what I'm saying in the grand scheme of things, what comes first? Who comes first? The Lord and the brothers, the Akim. Okay. Um. You know, again, not to denounce your family and and spit on them, kick on them, kick them to the curb. No, I'm not saying that. Of course, you you love you. You don't want anything to happen. Onto, you know what I'm saying? Onto your flesh and blood. But at the end of the day, you know, if uh, if they're not um if they're not with you serving the Lord, or if they're trying to uh deter you away from the faith, it's really fuck them at the end of the day. It is what it is. Right? If they can't respect you and, and uh the truth, hey Scriptures say uh, they hated the Lord, you know, first, right? And that's another uh, point I came across a few conversations I was having with the Akume. These <laughs> people in the world, even your, some of your family members, family members, man, they deep down, you know, they may say, you know what I'm saying? They may keep it cordial or whatever, but deep down, you know, they might have some all with you. <laughs> You know, whether they know it or not, whether uh, uh, they know it or not. And it's because you have the light. You have the light and they're in the dark and something doesn't sit right within them, man. Right, and they're cut. They don't want their deeds to be reproved. So what? They're going to distance themselves from you. You know, they might talk shit. It just might not feel right in the air. You know, but it is what it is. All right. We're supposed to be detaching from this world day by day. And if. You know, hey, if that means, because really they're they're a part of it, and if that means we have to detach from our family, hey, we have to. Hey, so be it. All right, that's the whole point. Hey, man, we have we're in this thing of, of sacrifices, making sacrifices and and staying mentally strong. So, if your family is, uh, you know, what I'm saying a part of it, so be it. Okay, but again, not being simple and just not loving your, hey man, you honor your father and your mother, but again, the Lord comes first. All right, um, and I'll grab one more, just something quick, man. Uh, through the spirits, this is Sirach or Ecclesiastes thirty-seven and verse twelve. All right, um, because now again, it's important time to be around the brothers. You know, as much as we can, don't get me wrong, you have your days where, you know, you want to be solo dolo and, you know, just let loose and kick it by yourself. Hey, every, we need it sometimes, man. Being in Babylon the Great, just need some time to, to take a breather, so to speak. And that's okay, but, um, you know, hey, the, the brotherhood is there for a reason, right? Or to uplift one another. And we have to believe that every single man or man um, 
you know, that's serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you have to believe that he's a man of the Lord. All right, and the Lord is working with him and he's speaking through him because, um, you know, you just got to stay spiritual because they, the Lord may be using that brother uh, just for uh, 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 speaking through him for you to get it, to you, for you to receive something, for you to uh, uh, hearken to what he's saying. Okay? No matter what rank, no matter what age, don't matter. All right? Speaking first and foremost to myself, you have to believe that the Lord is using these men and that these men's words hold weight. Okay? Uh, but this is Sirach 37, or Ecclesiastes 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Be continually with him. Because, hey, don't get me wrong, you still, you might have some uh, acquaintances or quote-unquote friends of this world that, you know, it's love with them or whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, you don't want to be spending too much time with these folks, man. You know, because they, they're, they're not in the know that their mind is elsewhere. All right. Don't get me wrong. Their intentions might be okay and pure. And you know how Jake is, man, loving. Um, you know, because you have, you could di differentiate just a, just a nigga and then a, a Jake that, you know, is ignorant. Um, you know, still has some type of sense on his shoulders and. You know, things of that sort. But, um, you know, you can't hang around them too much, man. Because that vibration could rub off on you. It could rub up off, off you, man. So, um, it's best to just, just be around the brothers. Right? Speaking, again, first and foremost to myself. And not to say, you know what I'm saying, just, again, <laughs> throw your, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, your, your, um, your friends, or you might have a brother or sister that you, you know what I'm saying, you're quote unquote close with. Hey, it's just having that balance and knowing, knowing when and when not to. All right. Um, where was I at? Salakia. It says, uh, I, uh, Con. I'm going to start back from the top. Sirach, or Ecclesiastes 37 and 12, it says, But be continued with the godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. It says, And let the counsel of thine own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. Uh, I'll just continue on. The point being was in 12, but... Uh, Continuing on, because one of my favorites, it says, For a man's mind is sometime wont to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in a high tower. So, yeah, at the end of the day, it's between you and the Lord, all right? Because a, a brother may give you um, advice on top of advice, in which we should be seeking counsel from godly men um, before you make a rash decision or decision period. But if something is still sitting off within your spirit or you still like have that gut feeling like yeah i don't know about this uh hey man you know listen <laughs> listen to the spirit listen to what the lord is telling you all right because with that brother you know what i'm saying might have the advice on it could just be speaking as a man and that's best for him but for you it's something different right you can apply it to whatever situation you might be in but point uh 15 Great point. And, uh, you know, one of my favorites is Sirach 37 and 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High that he will direct thy way in truth. Because at the end of the day, our steps are are written for a reason and they're written, period. You know, um, it's not within a man to direct his steps. Loosely paraphrasing, it's escaping me right now. But, um, yeah, above all this, man, pray to the Most High. Pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to direct your way in truth. All right. And in that way, you know, that you went to the Lord for counsel. And His will is going to be done at the end of the day regardless. So, but, uh, yeah, that was basically it, man. I'm going to grab just one to close it. I want to quote Iron sharpen. 
Com. Uh, Proverbs. Actually, let me see what it says in the NLT as well. So this is Proverbs 27 and verse 17. Uh, something, yep. Yeah. Simple. All right, it says, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. All right? Because a true friend is going to um, want to, uh, to make you better. All right? Not showing hate or not showing fake love, but truly caring for you and looking out for you. All right? So cherish, man. Cherish the, cherish the brothers. Cherish the, the, the... Hey, just the point. And where you're at right now in your walk. All right. So, Lord willing, uh, this was edifying and exhorting on to you. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory again unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Shalom, man. Keep pushing, keep enduring, Akim. Wa'akwath. Wa'akwath, you're more almost out of here, man. Shalom.